G'day guys, Greg here. Now, you might remember a little while ago I went to McDonald's and had their McFeast burger. Now, I've got to say, it was so bland and boring and tasteless and, oh, mate, it was really disappointing. And then when I got home, I had a gut ache for like three hours afterwards. Oof. Anyway, today I thought I'd make a homemade McFeast burger and I guarantee this one is going to have some flavour. These are the ingredients I'm using. And the McFeast comes with a special tomato sauce or a bray sauce and a McChicken mayonnaise as well. So let's start making those. So first of all, the tomato sauce. We'll start off with some tomato. Oh, tell me I'm running out of this as well. Oh. Just a little tiny dash of Worcestershire sauce. A very tiny dash of apple cider vinegar. And I've got some liquid smoke here. I just want one drop of that. Oop. And we'll mix that all together. Right, and next, I'm going to make the McChicken mayonnaise sauce. So we need some mayo. With a little squirt of American mustard, man, yeah. And I've got some chicken stock here, which I'll just use a little bit of to season it and we'll mix that together too. Now I've got myself a nice sesame seed bun here which I'll cut in half. Now I'm going to toast it which McDonald's doesn't do I don't think and well of course I'm going to need some butter for the toasting part so just put some butter on the buns. Don't be afraid to go heavy on the butter either. It'll help lubricate the burger as it goes down. Now I'll be cooking this burger in the frying pan. I've heated the pan up. I wonder if it's hot yet. Oh, you! Yes, it is. So I'll just start off with toasting these buns. Get them nice and golden brown. How are they looking? Oh, that's looking nice. Oh, yes. All right. So I'll take those off. Now I might just add a little bit of lubricant to that. And I've got my quarter pound of meat here, just some plain old mince, which I'll just shape into a ball. And then push that on and flatten it out. Add some salt and pepper. And we'll just cook that until it's ready to flip. Now well, let's give that a flip. Oh yeah. Looking good. You can add some more salt if you want. And pepper. And now that meat's cooked, we can start throwing this burger together. So, for starters, on the bottom bun, we put the meat, then the cheese, now the pickles, tomato, lettuce, and onion. And on the top bun, I'll add some American mustard, man. Yeah. And some of this tomato sauce. I'll add some mustard over here. Our special mustard. Oh, you can put it on here. <laughs> it might be easier. And now we just put the lid on top. And there we have it. Grego's homemade McFeast burger with flavor. And I can't wait to try it. Mm. Oh, oh boy. That just tastes amazing. This tastes so much better than a McDonald's McFeast that's just chalk and cheese. Mmm. Mmm. 
and the flavours are just amazing. They all blend in together so well. And the bray tomato sauce is great, the McChicken mayonnaise is great, the meat is great, everything about it just tastes so good. It kind of reminds me of a Whopper actually, except way better tasting. Man, this is good. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. If only McDonald's could taste this good. <laughs> good luck, McDonald's. <laughs> well, I hope this video helps you cooking in the kitchen. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time on Make a Burger. See you then. Oh, yeah. This is Greg's kitchen.